Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Hemlata and in this video we will see how to apply a multiple linear regression model to the data having uh, categorical predictive variables. So if you would have seen my previous video uh, on the multiple linear regression model, there we have analyzed the data which was having uh, independent variables as continuous type. Right, so in the same data, I will add one more regressor uh, that is uh, of uh, categorical type. So now let us have a look on the data set. So this is my data. It is an Excel file. So um, this is the systolic blood pressure. This is the age, this is the weight in pounds and this is the gender. So this data is collected for 26 patients. Now we may be interested in knowing whether the, the is there any significant difference in the um, systolic blood pressures of males and females. So to answer this, let us have a look on the on the multiple linear regression model. So let's say this is are the this is the multiple linear regression model that is y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 plus beta 3 x 3 plus e where where y is the dependent variable x 1 x 2 x 3 are the independent variables beta naught is the intercept term beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 are the partial re regression coefficients and e is the error term right and in in our example y is the systolic blood pressure a is, is the x1 is the age, x2 is the weight and x3 is the gender and x1 and x2 are the continuous type and obviously x3 is the categorical type it is having two categories male and female so um, to answer the question whether uh, is there any significant difference between the systolic blood pressure of males and females um, we will construct a dummy variables for the categorical variable right so here in our case x3 is the categorical type now uh, x3 can take uh, either value 1 or 0 now let's say uh, 1 for male and two for, uh, 0 for female. So x3 will take value 1 if the person is male and x3 will take value 0 if the person is female. So what will happen to the estimated value of y in case of uh, when x3 is male and x3 is female. So let us see this is the estimated regression model expected value of y is equal to this right so if we put x3 is equal to 1 here then for the given values of x1 and x2 the expected value of y will be beta naught plus beta 3 here we are putting x3 is equal to 1 so it will be beta naught plus beta 3 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 so uh, in this case where when uh, x3 is equal to 1 beta 1, naught plus beta 3 will be our intercept term so this will be the the estimated value of uh, y when we keep x1 and x2 as 0 clear similarly if we put x3 is equal to 0 in the estimated model uh, you will get expected value of y for the given value of x1 and x2 uh, that is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 because x3 term is 0. So you will get this only. So here beta naught is the only intercept term and you can interpret it like this. This is the expected value of y for the given value of x or you can say um, expected value of y if we put x1 and x2 0 then the this will be the expected value of y clear now uh, the difference uh, between the in our example if we see what will be the difference in the systolic blood pressure of males and females then beta 3 is the difference uh, in the, in the systolic blood pressures of males and females right 
now uh, if if we are going to test that uh, whether the the systolic blood pressure dip, differs in males and females so for this we will construct the hypothesis let's say h naught is uh, we'll con we'll uh, assume that there is no difference in the systolic blood pressure of males and females and uh, versus the alternative hypothesis is there is a significant difference in the sbp of males and females now how to deal with the data right for this we will go to the r studio here you can see i have written my all codes but i will explain each and every code one by one so um, first we will import the data set here i have imported the data from the excel file so uh, to import the data set we will go to the files and then import data set and then from excel uh, we'll see this window and then we'll click on browse and then we'll go to the folder where our data is saved we'll click on the folder and then we'll open the file and then this we'll copy this and then we'll click on the import when you will click on the import you'll see a new tab where our data is shown so this is our data now we'll go to the this um, our script file so this is the code that I have copied from there so by this we can uh, import the data from the Excel file now uh, by the head function we will see the first six values of the data set if I run this we can see this is my data here uh, now uh, we already know that the gender is of categorical type but R doesn't know so in the in the uh, in the language of R we have to make it as a categorical variable so we'll make uh, is uh, we will convert it as a factors uh, so for this we'll use this function this command right so we, here we are writing the data file name this is my data file name mlrm underscore data one uh, dollar gender so it uh, dollar means what it will uh, work with the gender column column only right so dollar as dot factor and then in the bracket I will write the same thing like this so it will convert uh, that column as a factor or at it will consider it as a categorical type right now we can see how many males and females are there so to know that we will use uh, the table function so by the table you can see there are 13 males and 13 females in our data set right so now uh, let us fit the regression line to our data so for this we will install the package tidyverse uh, this is just for the easy uh, data manipulation and visualization so first we will install this package to install this package either you can write the install.packages and in the bracket you can write tidyverse and after installation um, we load the package by the library function we will load this package and after loading the package uh, we will run the regression so as you have as you already know we will for the simple linear regression or multiple linear regression we will use the, the lm function so uh, we will we'll use the lm function and this is our dependent variable sbp sbp is depending on three factors in our case so we will write either you write the all three variables uh, or you write the this dot sign right so meaning is same either you write sbp delta age plus weight plus uh, gender or you write just this dot sign meaning is same this dot will take all the variables which are um, given in our file as an independent variable right and the data is equal to mlrm mlrm underscore data one so this is my data this is the function formula we are going to apply on this so if you run this my uh, my uh, the 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 output are saved in M then I will uh, want to see the output then I will put M again and I, I will see this is my output right if you want to have some more information about the, the regression model then I can use the summary function if I use a summary function we will have a lots of information about our regression model here you can see this was a formula that we had used 
and then this is about the residual so as you can see the the minimum and maximum values so of the residual these uh, there is the range is too high that means uh, there may be uh, the 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 dif much difference between the observed and expected values of the response variable and if we look at the coefficients by this you can see uh, this is our intercept term this is the coefficient um, beta 1 this is beta 2 and this is the beta 3 so for the gender we have created the, the dummy variable and by default r has taken uh, female as a reference category means female is equal to 0 and uh, male as a uh, dummy variable right so this is the coefficient when male uh, gender is male right so how uh, now we'll in interpret it so if we construct uh, if we fit the regression model by using these coefficients so our model fitted model will be uh, sbp is equal to beta naught this plus beta 1 into h plus h is x1 plus beta 2 coefficient of beta 2 um, coefficient uh, beta 2 that is the this one into weight this is the coefficient of weight plus beta 3 this is the beta 3 value and uh, the multiplication gender male because this is the coefficient of gender male right and these are the respective error standard error terms so if you divide the uh, the, the estimated value of coefficient by its standard error you will get the t statistic but uh, these are the respective p values so we are interested in the p value so that we can compare it with the standard value of the level of significance so we are going to compare it with at uh, 95 percent of 95 percent level of significance then we will see the the age is insignificant because the the, the value of the p value of beta 1 is greater than 0 0.05 so it is showing that there is a uh, this is insignificant insignificant means what the age does not have any influence on the systolic blood pressure right similarly uh, if we look at the coefficient p value of the beta 3 beta 2 this is the coefficient of beta coefficient beta 2 and as you can see it is very small and also greater than point uh, sorry less than 0 0.05 so in this case we will reject the null hypothesis so if we reject the null this this means it is significant so if it is significant that means weight has a significant influence on the systolic blood pressure clear and by the gender uh, uh, variable we will see for gender male this value is also insignificant as it is less than uh, greater than 0 0.05 so it is also insignificant so this indicates that gender does not have any significant influence in the, um, the systolic blood pressure right uh, this is how you can interpret this and if we look at the this model so you can find if the person is female if the person is female that means x3 is 0 so in that case the average value if we keep the age and the weight as 0 then the average value of systolic blood pressure is 59 point this one similarly if the person is male in that case we will put x3 is equal to 1 in, in our model so you will get 59 means the value of beta naught plus the value of beta 3 and if we are keeping beta uh, this age and weight as 0 right so if age and weight are 0 then the average value of systolic blood pressure will be this plus this but uh, uh, this these are quite weird uh, exam this is quite weird case when the, when we are keeping age and weight 0 so it, it does not have any physical meaning we can interpret it in different way like uh, the average systolic blood pressure if the person is male 
for the given age and weight so let's say here we have taken a particular example we have taken the person's age is 50 and the weight is 200 pounds so for these given age and weights and the person is male so we are putting x3 is equal to 1 here so this will be our expected value of the systolic blood pressure for the males right and the males are especially here males are having is what 50 and the weight 200 so we, we, we can see what is the estimated um, the systolic blood pressure in case of males of is 50 and weight 200 so let us run this as you can see we got 154 so this is the expected systolic blood pressure for the males for the given age and weight right Similarly, we can also calculate the average systolic blood pressure for females also. So, for female, we will keep X3 is equal to 0, right? So, if we keep X3 is equal to 0, this will be our model. And here, the female, uh, uh, we are taking A is equal to 50 and weight is equal to 200. So, for the female of A is 50 and weight 200, the average systolic blood pressure will be this much 150 so by this you can see uh, the male's systolic blood pressure is greater than the female's systolic blood pressure right but uh, our p value was insignificant in this in this case so we can see that uh, we don't have sufficient evidence to say uh, that there is a significant difference between the males and females uh, systolic blood pressure right and uh, these things i have already explained in my previous video if you want to see i'll share the link in my description box you can go through that and um, uh, one more thing if uh, the r has already uh, by default has taken the female as a reference category female is equal to zero right uh, if you want to change it you can use this code mm, this comes under the tidyverse package so first you have to install the tidyverse package and then if you run this code the important code to change the category of uh, the reference category you, you will use the re-level function so if you will use this code uh, it will uh, it will change the reference category from female to male now our reference category has converted to female males right uh, and uh, now if we run the, the model again you will see the difference in the regression coefficients so here the intercept term has changed and here you can see earlier it was male now it is female right so only the way of interpretation will be different but we will get the same output same uh, interpretation right only way is different but ultimately we will say the same thing uh, as you can see if the person was male and will keep age and weight zero then the average value of the systolic blood pressure is 63.15 right if we keep if we uh, if the person is female then this average value will reduce by this amount right so we'll get ultimately same thing you can uh, either you can change the reference category or you can keep it as it is right so this is how we can uh, uh, deal with the data which is uh, uh, having the, the categorical independent variables we can uh, use a multiple linear regression model in that type of data in R so if you found my video useful please like and subscribe my channel thank you